Hey everybody, this is Viper4724. And so far, <laughs> the matches that I've brought from you or to you from Ravnica at War Devastation have not been the absolute best, even though the decks performed very well before that. So I'm gonna try one more time. I use Bull S1 down in the bottom left. We, uh, I mentioned this in the first video. How his first ability does not work towards uh, your goals and your objectives. Either way, I'm just going to show you why I'm still using him. Now, the destroy objective is kill four more creatures during a single fight. Like I said, his first ability doesn't work towards that, but I have cards in the deck to make up for it. And on the other side, we have cast four more creatures with any of these subtypes, assassin, cleric, spirit, or vampire. So let's take a look at the deck. Now, this killer instinct, when it destroys a creature at the end of your turn, that counts towards the destroyed objective. This is still why I'm using Bolas, because he'll continuously destroy your creatures. I have a couple other destroy cards in my deck using the finale the assassins and the unholy hunger you can use to kill your opponents as needed you can also use this first ability as needed now if you can't get stuff into play you can use the eugen the inevitable to put a colorless uh, i'm sorry supporters on the board your colorless cards you cost two less who cares uh plus one create a colorless spirit token so you can use that if you don't have the killer instinct on the board to put uh, stuff into play to kill. And you can kill your opponent's creatures. Now on top of that, the Priest of the Blood Rite gives you two creatures in play to kill. And Zadek stops your opponent from being able to play their cards. Whenever this creature deals damage to your opponent's Planeswalker, it gets plus one plus one. Then drain mana from your opponent's first card in hand equal to this creature's power. Slows down your opponent, helps you out overall. And we can use the Unholy Hunger to kill our own creatures. You can use all this stuff to kill the opponent's creatures. The Killer Instinct also kills your creatures. So, with that said, let's hop right into this fight, see if we can do a little bit better than we did on the other two nodes that I am showing you guys. And as always, like I said in the other videos, win, lose, I always love feedback, love knowing what you guys think, uh, just giving you a chance to see the cards I'm using, what my thoughts were, and if you like to uh, help me out with your own thoughts and comments, that's always appreciated. It definitely makes me want to play more, post more videos. So even for the people that are joining my page, even though it's been very low activity for a while now. I do appreciate it. Give me some posts and I definitely plan on posting a lot more as time goes on. Okay, so right now the only thing that can kill my spirit is destroy spells. So that lethal damage doesn't actually work against him. Which is fine. We'll kill the opponent's creature, which is great. Perfect. Now, the hard part about the killer instinct, once it gets into play, it's hard to get more creatures into your hand. That's why I added extra creatures in my deck to make sure that I'm still going to be able to draw a creature if needed. Now the exile isn't gonna work for me, so I'm gonna kill that one. I'll put him into play. And we'll go from there. Because 
Because once she attacks and hits, it's an exile, it's not a kill, it doesn't count. And obviously, as the opponent kills you, that doesn't count for your total either. So we have to worry about our own kill count. Get that up there. Get him. Uh, we'll leave him the way he is. Okay. So right now we're looking pretty good. We have a lot of stuff going for us. We've killed a few creatures. We have the killer instinct in our hand. We have two creatures on the board that we need. So as long as we draw one more creature, there he is. We're good to go now. So we are actually going to put that killer instinct into play first. Get this going. Save these to make sure they're dead. Just like that. Looks like a decent match right now. Now, the downfall of the Killer Instinct, when you have um, the same card in play and it starts to rack up its reinforcements, the Killer Instinct won't kill. So that's very important. We need to make sure that that Killer Instinct is killing. There we go. Okay, so we're going to get a death. So we're going to get one more death. We need to get two more creatures on the board. Those are going to be those two Zadex at this time. Uh, we don't need that killer instinct. We don't need the Ugin. But we do need to get some mana going here. Because that can be a problem. Also, uh, that Berserker actually really, really helps us. Because it's going to kill our operative. Which we definitely need at this point. Perfect. And now, we're doing all right. Okay. I'll actually bring her up here because she costs less. Just looking for the best, best mana option. Well, I definitely didn't want that to happen, because that's not good. And now you can see why I haven't got full points with this deck. Because I only have two in play. We're about to kill. And we are not going to get full options again. Well. I wanted to post some videos I apologize that I couldn't get full points for everyone I know that's what's expected of me I expect that out of myself my team expects that that's what makes us a very high level team but still want the feedback hope you got some ideas from the deck because that's what I was trying to put out there we got some points, just not enough. I'm still going to post everything just to show everyone on my page and everyone that's signed up, especially recently, that no matter what level player you are, no matter how you play, no matter how many cards you have, you can't be perfect all the time and stuff happens in game. So I really hope that you enjoy the matches, you got some ideas from the decks. And I really, really appreciate input. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Viper4724. Have a great event.